Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create US seed connection in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with US environment. Okay, now we are going to create column. So, click on steel and select this column and place it here. Right click on mouse, interrupt. Now we are going to create views. So, click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines click on create and then ok ok now we're going to create a beam at here so for example we're going to take planet elevation 10 click on here we are in 10 feet elevation so now we're going to create beam at this location so click on steel and select this beam and pick the first position at here at the middle uh, before that we need to activate this option snap to geometry line and points and then pick the first position at here and pick the second position exactly perpendicular to that grid okay right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to change the position of this beam so double click on it on plane let's take right then click on modify like that and close it now we can copy this beam so select this beam use the shortcut control c and pick the position at here and pick the destination position at here to copy right click on mouse interrupt now click on window and click on 3d view you can see now we have two beams like this you can now go to the planet 10 feet now we need to give the, some clearance set here so select these two beams hold the control button and select these two beams then right click on mouse move special linear click on clear you can see y direction is uh, upward direction so we need to move in downward direction so give the negative value here mi uh, minus half inch then click on move ok right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have the gap half inch here clearance you can measure from here click on edit and go to the measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point and pick the side of the dimension to measure the distance between the two beam to flange should be half inch like this right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse create a view now click on window and click on 3d view you can see use the shortcut control r and pick the position you can rotate like this now we are going to create connection at here so click on application components you can use the shortcut control f also and in the search bar type number 74 and scroll it down here you can see now we have the us seat connection number 3 the component number is 74 select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary parts as beams press the scroll button to place the connection like this and close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse view. you can see by default we have the connection just like this okay now we're going to edit this connection so double click on this connection now click on window and click on planet elevation 10 feet click on space right click on mouse view and then select this connection you need to select this connection before going to edit here so select this connection you can see by default we have the gap you can uh, adjust this gap between the two beams for example we required half inch gap between the two beams so we need to enter here quarter because this is the uh, center of the bracket to one side beam spacing here so we need to make it here quarter then click on modify you can see now this spacing should be half inch so click on here measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first zoom it and pick the first point at here and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension you can see now the gap between the two beams should be half inch now go to 3d view 
right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse review review and select this bracket now we're going to change the bracket profile so go to parts and under seating profile click on here under three dots and click on here t profile and select this wt uh, let's take w total by 42 then click on apply ok click on modify you can see this is the w total by 42 it's a very big profile so we're going to reduce it so click on here let's take wt by 25 then click on apply ok click on modify you can see like that you can change the this bracket profile from here you can use the i profile also click on here uh, let's take minimize it and maximize this i profile and go to the w let's take w 8 by 28 then click on apply ok click on modify you can see this is the i profile okay you can change uh, any profile or uh, from here profile catalog as you required now coming to these bolts go to the bolts tab and click on here and select this planet zero you can see uh, you can select the bolt size here let's take 3 by 4 and tolerance is 1 by 16 okay by default we have the three and a half inch between the two bolts well, let's take four inch and in this direction also we're going to take four inch then click on modify you can see now the spacing between the two bolts should be four inch in vertical and horizontal direction you can measure from here select the vertical and pick the first point at the middle of this right click on mouse interrupt click on here and select this vertical distance and zoom it and pick the bolt middle point and end point and bolt end point and place it here now the spacing should be 4 inch similarly in a horizontal direction also we're going to check so click on here first point and pick the second point and pick the side of the dimension here you can see now we have 4 inch and 4 inch at here okay right click on mouse interrupt if you want to increase the length of this bracket so click on this picture and you can see now we have the length of this bracket at here for example currently we have the bracket length you can measure from here click on space right click on mouse read a view and go to measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and place the dimension here currently we have seven seven and a half inch uh, for example we require eight inch then select this connection and enter here eight inch then click on modify you can see bracket length increased but this bolt should be at the middle of this beam so we need to place the bolts at the middle of this beam so we increase the half inch extra so we need to enter here half inch we need to cut off the half inch so means quarter then click on modify you can see now the bolt should be middle of this beam for example if you want to place here 8.5 8 and half inch then click on modify by default we have seven and half inch now increase it one inch extra so uh, to place this bolts at the middle of this beam so go to bolts and you need to place it here we increase one inch uh, from the default so we need to place here half inch then click on modify you can see now this bolt should be middle of this beam then click on modify okay that's it about this bolt and then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse read view click on window and select this 3d view click on space right click on mouse read view okay just like this okay that's it about how to create us seat connection in tecla structures if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel
youtube.com slash kuni sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when upload a new video so please click on subscribe good thank you